Still the race for governor. Tonight, as kids and teachers get ready for another week back at school, voters prep to grade candidates for governor. Right about 88% of Wisconsin voters surveyed in the recent Marquette poll say they're concerned about public schools right now. Our political reporter Jason Kelby takes a deeper look at both candidates' plans for education, including an exclusive interview with Tim Michaels. At Wisconsin's oldest private school, Trinity Lutheran of Freistadt, a candidate for governor, tours. I know you. You know me. 45% of the students here receive a school voucher. A key part of Tim Michael's plan is to allow any student in the state to qualify for the voucher. It uses taxpayer money to pay for kids to go to private schools. Democratic Governor Tony Evers vetoed a bill to get rid of the voucher's current income limits. They are worried that it's taking money away from the public schools. They say it's a new entitlement program. Uh, what do you say to those critics of, of the school voucher program? Uh, I, I say if you're at a public school, uh, you're a, an administrator there, uh, and you think that you're doing a great job, you have nothing to worry about. But if you're failing, like a lot of schools are in MPS, then you should be concerned. Why? Because parents are going to find other options, and they deserve to have the opportunity to find other options. Evers has spent recent weeks welcoming kids back to public schools. When I came to office, I, we worked at trying to fix a decade of underinvestments in our schools. Now our K-12 schools ranked eighth of best in the nation after ranking 17th just five years ago. That's according to U.S. News & World Report. The Democratic governor urges the Republican-controlled legislature to spend $2 billion more on public schools. He wants to use part of the state's estimated $5 billion budget surplus. Over the past decade, Republicans have cut more than $4 billion from education budgets that I propose as governor and as state superintendent, and that's a billion with a B. So we have a lot of work to do to fully fund our schools and do it the right way. Republican legislative leaders like Speaker Voss are already shooting down the governor's latest proposal. They often spar over school issues. This year, the governor vetoed the GOP bill to break up Milwaukee public schools into four to eight smaller districts. It sure looks to me like uh, we're putting our children into uh, essentially being pawns in a, in a political game. Would you have signed that bill to break up the Milwaukee public school district? Uh, again, Jason, the devil's in the details. I'll have to take a look at that. But I'm certainly open to breaking up MPS because right now it's not working as it's set up. In a purple state. I purple. In about eight weeks, voters will decide whether to pick blue or red. Evers versus Michaels. In Mequon, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Jason, thank you. We also asked for a one on one with Governor Tony Evers, but his campaign said he was not available before the story ran. We do have much more with the candidates on our website and our app. To find out their plans for your schools, just go to our website and check this story out at fox6now.com.